Howdy all, this is your host, Road. Welcome back to Love It Games. We're playing a little bit of Mafia the Definitive Edition today. Hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're gonna hop right back to it. Quarter out of work. Government report shows no end to slow down measures to date have failed. Fall economic slide unemployment stands at 25%. Farm foreclosures are at a two year high as smallholders battle the combined threat of financial hardship and dust storms. Choking the high plans in response, the president proposes new legislation to stabilize the banking system. We pay to keep this place in check. Don't even put down the fire. Huh? Place is derelict. Anything going on in here? Nope. Where the hell are you hiding? Hey, buddy. <sighs> Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! Gotcha. Wow! It's me, Tom. Polly, what took you so long? Looking for Sammy. Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. The cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. Didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. Farm Bridge. Is there anything else over here? Just the hooch.
Not got another no. Uncle's happy, cannot cousins. When y'all should get the truck. in Tremblay, Winnipeg, Canada. Jesus. Looks like we found the Canadians. You see Sam in there? No. <sighs> like some. We're waiting for us. Yeah, somebody had to have talked. Not you. Good authority that sell Larry's whiskey handover is tonight. Our mutual friend wants this line of Canadian booze coming into the city shut down. I want you and your men to the farm as we discussed by 9 p.m. We will wait through the night. Tell the boys it's fine if things get rough. They can take the hooch home to thank them for coming. Huh. Yeah, border cops doing the rebels dirty work. Corpse farm, yeah, public option. Did your body? Uh oh, Tommy Gun. You boys stay here and watch our backs. 
plug anyone who gets within 100 yards. Except us. Okay, just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, mm. stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. Okay. We survived worse. You sure? You sure we are? How many of them are there? Tony and Donnie, too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. Somewhere. Were they pulling behind? 
behind you. Blast them down. Just don't let them get past us. I don't know, but we are going to blast them up. Truck was destroyed. That's not good. Hard to see. How are we already down to half health? That's annoying. Thing back there is huge. Where the hell did they find that truck? Keep going, Tommy. Take them out. Now. Let them have it. They are taking so many rounds.
Dude, they are destroying our truck. That sucks. you doing here so late? Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. <laughs> the doc's already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. I'm gonna be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight. I mean, we survived. We technically made a bunch of job openings for the police department, too. What's up, buddy?
So she had blood all over her hands, and then she touches her white shirt, touches his shoulder, and then wraps her arms around him and touches his back. Umberta. Hey, bud. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we've got to get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Six bullets is all it needs. Two for Frank, two for his wife, two for his kid. Tommy. Tough day today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Ooh, it's sawed off. When Frank sees a Lepara. You'll know. The old ways work. I don't know who you are. Gotta do it over the counter. Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? 
Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Tony, big Tony, little Tony, Always fat Tony. A pleasure, Tommy. All the Tony. That was weird, the sound. That was a little off. Get them, boys, Lancers. Nah, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. That on that Councilor Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom, what's going on? Nothing happened. like the place. Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to coverage what All will be right. the final play of this game. Oh, the don't have to between talk. the last heaven lancers and the Empire Bay cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors. Dude, he's going so slow. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around them. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager Frankie Hodge prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place or something. Sorry, but you had noticed this vehicle. It's quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion, and you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the Gold Series, which at one stage had appeared doomed, but they equally teeter on the edge of the feet. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Gotta be some kind of neat habit. Nobody is considering the possibility of extra innings. Bunny Smith then standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's betraying... They're driving erratically. He's more tired after his exertions this series, nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other. 
In the right lane, see if he stays in the right lane. He seems to be weaving back and forth. Dude, where are you going? We are next to an airstrip. I said we ran the car right now. Kill the guards. Dr. Frank directly. Yeah, airport. What's going on? They're with the FBI. It's some sort of handover. Someone's being flown out. Oh, they're handing him over to who? Those men with the plane looked like gangsters. How long did it done? I'm due to fly. As soon as they fly their prisoner out, I guess. Sorry. I don't know. Sorry, A lot of these men don't look like cops. All right. We go up and see if there's anything up here. I heard there's some guy the feds are handing over before he's flown out in a civilian plane. Take charge here. Get him! Got him. <laughs> Finger five. Oh, it won't let me jump off this thing.
Does not have any rank. You're finished. I make you walk this. Frank, the Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple.
Oh, you fucked up. You just let a rat. Get Good afternoon, sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Those are both up. Beautiful day, huh? Uh huh. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. Sharing to let him live. Got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. should not have let them escape that was very very bad you don't leave witnesses with the mob i'm gonna call it an episode that you in like on share the video and tell me to wonderful day god bless i don't know if it's on to make me immediately I don't even know if we can save it, but we'll figure it out.